Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Alex Hooper, who is the Director of Technology Alliances Partners for the Southern Asia re Asian region for Tanium. So welcome to the jam, Alex. Thanks, Nick. Great to be here. No worries. Good to have you. So um, my first question for you is, could you just give us a brief rundown on what Tanium is and what its offerings are? Yeah, so um, Tanium's um, actually been around for quite some time, uh, but uh, it, because of the area of, sort of security and where it's sort of fitted into, it's not one of those household names just yet. But its uh, its primary sort of focus and its evolution came from uh, endpoints and protecting endpoints, so the laptops, desktops, servers, things of that nature. But doing it in a way that is faster than anything I've seen personally in the marketplace, um, with full visibility across every endpoint in an estate. And that's really unique with the current trends in the market with COVID and things of that nature, but also in terms of the speed, scale and visibility customers need to be able to go and manage estates uh, as they continue to grow with a big push into IoT and into, into uh, sort of growth of endpoints. Right. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so could you tell me when did Tanium start and how? what's the growth trajectory being like up until now? How big is Tanium now? So Tanium is about uh, 2,000 employees from an employee account point of view. Um, and in terms of just within this region, within the Asia South region, um, I joined about four months ago where we uh, doubled the size of the team uh, in a very short period of time, uh, going up to about 45 staff. Um, that growth is 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 skyrocketing at the moment because of the the uh, the demand and need for, for these solutions in market. Right, yeah. Um, and it's often seen as a cybersecurity solution, Tanium is. Um, but is this the case or does it go beyond cybersecurity? Or do you guys do other um, things as well? Yeah, I think, look, Tanium is a platform approach to endpoints, okay? And so when we look at the big players in that space, um, we see people like ServiceNow, Splunk, building platforms. Um, and I think having come from ServiceNow in, in my past, uh, to build a platform requires you to address a particular use case. We saw that with ServiceNow. It's a great platform that can expand beyond just ITSM um, and Splunk the same from a same perspective, expanding beyond that now to automation and things like that. So what we see with these platforms and Tanium is one of them is that the use case around cybersecurity, because again, you know, it's got the ability to go out to 500,000 endpoints and real time collect data in 14 seconds. It's able to get huge speed out of that. And then it's able to get huge uh, or massive sort of visibility across the estate, like I mentioned before, which means that if you're talking about something like cybersecurity, you can't have a gap, right? So you can't have a situation where we only see 10% or 50 or 60% of the estate. So cybersecurity really fits into that niche quite nicely with regards to the solution and what it solves. What I see in my engagements across dealing with ServiceNow, Splunk, Salesforce, the tech alliances bring another level to that where we're enhancing things like IT operations through um, CNDB data enrichment and things of that nature. So when we're talking about the data that those other platforms are using, having real-time telemetry from the endpoint means that we can enhance those workflows. And so I see it not only as an IT security platform, but feeding into IT operations and other areas within IT. Right, yeah. And obviously these days, um customers will be using multiple solutions um, for multiple different reasons. Um, so how does Tanium integrate with other solutions that customers may, may be using? Yeah, so again, coming back to that sort of piece, I mean, um, I've been working uh, quite closely with our friends at ServiceNow on um, how we can do something as simple as case deflections um, with an IT request. So say, for example, Nick, your laptop uh, is misbehaving performance-wise. When you raise a ticket, for IT to help you, you would then normally wait for an agent to, to check that and see what's happening. As part of that ticket raising process for yourself, what we would do is uh, we'd be able to send telemetry back to service now to say, hang on, are you running the latest version of Zoom? Are you, have you rebooted your machine recently? And create a workflow to deflect that case from the agents and then potentially take remediation action all the way through uh, from the collection of the data all the way through to maybe doing an application update or a patch to your machine to fix that. That then means that we can feed that data in um, through just a simple use case like that, all the way out to um, something like server reboots with uh, you know Patch Tuesday when we're doing reboots in that sort of fashion and reducing that manual FTE effort. 
Then when you can couple that with something like a service now and put change control, GRC sort of metrics over the top of that, you can actually start to see and document what's happening in the environment and get that full visibility from a compliance perspective as well. Right. Yeah. And um, what kind of customers uh, are leveraging Tanium right now? So within region, um, we have one of the top four banks. Um, we can't sort of go into exact details. We have, uh, we're, in, uh, we're in sort of the government federal space as well in a big way. Um, and we're working with uh, several large agencies uh, in the federal space. Um, and then uh, insurance companies and healthcare companies as well. That seems to be really where, where our traction has been. From a global perspective, um, you know, we're in more than 50 of the top 100 NASDAQ organizations. Uh, we're in multiple of the military branches in America and they're more publicly sort of listed on our website. Um, and so in terms of where we, where we sit, we do see that you know, the smaller organizations, they don't struggle as much with the endpoint problem um, because they're not dealing with you know, 60,000 staff or, or something of that nature. They're dealing with, you know, with smaller numbers of endpoints. So the problem is managed you know, using traditional methods. It's not to say we don't scale down to that, it's just that I think the real uh, sort of uh, issue that those larger organizations are facing are easily uh, addressed by Tanium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've got one more brief question for you, Alex. Um, if any uh, end users who've watched this video um, are interested and want to get in touch, how, what's the best way? Well, I mean, to start with, uh, Tanium.com has fantastic resources uh, to, to get started with, uh, with uh, straight into going into your own proof of concept if you wanted to, because the solution's all SaaS based. We do have on-premise options as well, uh, traditional sort of installables. But if you wanted to get your hands dirty with it, then that's a quick way to get started. If you want to speak to a, a sales representative uh, to understand that, then we also have that on the website. But Nick, in terms of my transparency, um, if, send me an email, alex.hooper at tanium.com. And we'd be more than happy to, to, to assist with uh, any inquiry that we have. Uh, and uh, I think we've really got a great culture and organization where we, we all work together to try and help customers to overcome their challenges. And I think it's a very approachable company uh, based on my experience uh, across multiple vendors. This is the culture here is incredible as to the desire to help uh, organizations. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, um, that's all we have time for today. So thank you for coming on today, Alex. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Nick.